Hey everyone, I'm Jason Roberts. By the end of this video, you'll know when to choose S-Log3 and when to choose S-Cinetone, like this when you're shooting in daylight and you don't have an ND filter. I'm gonna share three things that you might want to think about when you're choosing between these two picture profiles. Let's go. The first thing to think about is ISO. The base ISOs for these two picture profiles are different. On the A7S III that I'm filming on now, S-Log3 has a base ISO of 640, whereas S-Cinetone has a base ISO of 100. That means if you're filming in bright daylight and you don't have an ND filter, and you also don't want to change the aperture or overcrank the shutter speed, then S-Cinetone in this example might be a better choice. That's because S-Cinetone's base ISO is lower than S-Log3's base ISO, so it's going to be a lot less sensitive to bright light. However, if you're filming in darker conditions, then S-Log3 might be a better choice with its higher base ISO of 640. Also on the A7S III here, the picture profiles have two base ISOs where the noise is at its lowest, with S-Log3 having a whopping 12,800 for its higher base ISO. S-Cinetone's higher base ISO is only 2,000. So for low light or dark situations, S-Log3 might be the better choice, especially if you're going to use that higher second base ISO. I've already made videos on how to to expose these two picture profiles, I'll put links down in the description below to those videos. The second thing to think about is what colours you want and also your editing effort in post-production. You can think of s Cinetone as having its own colour grade built into the video file itself, which can either be a good or bad thing depending on your preferences. The good thing about s Cinetone is that you can use the footage straight out of camera without needing to know how to do colour grading. With S-Log3 on the other hand, you will have to do some colour grading in your editing software if you want to use the footage properly. You can still do some colour grading with s Cinetone if you want to, but you don't have to. If you really want complete control control over how the colours look and you don't mind doing colour grading, then S-Log3 will give you a better starting point than S-Cinetone. S-Log3 is going to give you a more neutral starting point. Basically, if you want to record and get videos out as quickly as possible with little or no editing, then S-Cinetone is a better choice than S-Log3. I've got an entire video dedicated to colour grading S-Log3, which I'll put a link to down in the description. If this video is helping you so far, make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment. The third reason you might want to choose S-Log3 over s Cinetone is dynamic range. Dynamic range is basically the size of the difference between the darkest and the lightest parts of the image that you can capture in your video. The bigger the dynamic range, the more detail you can get in the shadows and highlights. If you want maximum dynamic range, then you'll want to use S-Log3. You can see here that S-Log3 gives you more dynamic range than s Cinetone. See how there's more detail in the sky here. If you decide you don't want to use S-Log3 but you don't quite like the colour or the look of s Cinetone, then you could maybe try Picture Profile Off with a creative look of standard or neutral if you want that quick editing turnaround and you don't want to do colour grading. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.